Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just a follow up to my last video. As you can see, I got it to work. Um, I'm very happy right now, man. I I spent all night looking this shit up. I've spent over two years looking for this, man. I really have. I. You can go back and look at the videos that I first did on this thing when I got it. I have been looking ever since then for this shit. And it looks like I found it, which is awesome. Um, looks like I did find it. <laughs> I did. I outright did find it. Um, and this is... It's just great, man. So I got the timestamp to work. And I'm going to go through the process in this video of how I got it to work in case anybody else has one of these Logitech webcams from back in the day. And they want this thing down here. Because, I mean, it is nice. Um, it does show up in the final production video, which, personally... I mean, it depends on what the video is about, of course, but for just these, I don't mind. There are two types of timestamps for Logitech software uh, webcams, and I will eventually, one of these days, I'll have a video out. Probably not specifically about that timestamp, but showing the timestamp, the other one that they have here. Um, this is the one that I was after. Um, it does show, it shows the date there, obviously, it's November 29th, 2020. Uh, already it's 208 a.m. and then it shows the thing that's awesome is it actually shows how long I've been going for I've been going for a minute and 37 seconds there you go so that's what I wanted man that's what I wanted the whole time was to actually see how friggin long I've been going for um, in that awesome dude that's what I gotta say man this is really cool because um, how I had to do it before is I had version, um, I think it's 2.51, I think is the version of Logitech webcam software that I had beforehand. Um, and the only way that you can get any sort of timestamp in that piece of software, the only way whatsoever, um, was to uh, use motion detection to film your video. Which is not a good solution long term, it really isn't. Also, the timestamp is different. It has the same general appearance, but it's on the other side of the screen. It doesn't show how long it's been recording for, and it shows the seconds uh, with the actual time. Which, I mean, in reality, it doesn't have to show you how long it's been recording for if it is motion detection. But it kind of ruined it for what I was trying to use it for. It just made it like a date stamp, not a time stamp, as in how long I've been going for, which is what I wanted. Seems to work just fine, man, um, on this one. But anyway, that was how you had to do it. And the motion detection was pretty touchy. You could only go up to 15 minutes, uh, and then it would cut your video off using motion detection. Obviously, if you didn't move enough or you're showing something that isn't moving, um, it'll just outright end the video, which I tried to do a video showing some gameplay on my TV here using that setting. Um... And I ended up with like a shit ton of 5 second, 20 second clips that were like totally not connected to each other at all because it just, it wasn't detecting properly what was going on on the screen. So that didn't work at all and after that I gave up on using this webcam. But, this works. And also another drawback to using that version of the Life, or the Quick Cam software, I keep wanting to call it Life Cam software, um, is that it doesn't let you record in high def. I'm not recording in high def on this video, but you can. Using this version, I can record in 720p, high def, widescreen, whole deal, with the timestamp, which you couldn't do in motion detection. Um, just awesome stuff, man. Um, so how to do this, anyway, for what I found, these are just the most basic steps that I can give. Um, delete, uh, delete your version that you have now. If you have that uh, 2.51, or I had like 2.80 was another version that I saw. Delete that. Outright delete it. It's no good. You can keep the drivers from it for your webcams. Like, so if you have some slightly newer webcams, they should hopefully work with this. I'm using a QuickCam Pro 9000 for this video. Um, so your mileage may vary on that. But you want to delete it. You can keep your drivers. Uh, it should reinstall good drivers if you accidentally delete the drivers. If not, you can always reinstall from that version. Uh, and then you want to download. I will have a link in the description for this uh, download for a couple of versions, hopefully. 
Uh, if I can find the links again, I'll try to at least get the one for the version that I'm using for this vid. Um, it's Logitech Webcam Software 1.1, uh, and then it, it's LWS110.exe. It's just under 50 meg. Um, so you're going to want to download that, install it. It works on Windows 7 for me. A little bit buggy on the install process, as in like when it shows the drop down for your language, the languages are completely broken, it's just a bunch of numbers. Um, so hopefully you're in English, otherwise you're going to have a hard time finding the language. Uh, on Windows XP, because that's where I tested this on, was an XP machine, worked just fine. I don't know if this is going to work on Windows 8 or 7, I can't guarantee that. I have no idea, so you can try it, but I'm not certain it'll work. But on Windows 7, it works enough here. Um, so go through, download that. You don't need to download Logitech Vid when that comes up. You don't need to have that. I don't think it's of any use anymore. Um, just download the software in the drivers. Um, and it, I don't think it will install over what drivers you have already. If you kept your old ones from your newer install, it will hopefully still have those. It didn't seem to overwrite them for me. Because I did do some testing with this. Um, so, once it installs, it should work just fine. Uh, so Logitech Webcam Software version 1.1 is what you want to find. And I will have a link for it in the description of this video. Um, some other cool features. Uh, all my settings seem to be intact in terms of adjustments I can do on the camera here. And then um, I can also... One thing that I can do that's really cool is I can turn this off. I can turn the video off. Um, or it, it muted the mic as well there, but you can see it just went to an image. I can do it again. So you can basically put it on pause or on hold while like you move something around or you do something. Um, and then it will just show the image so you don't need to show a bunch of other shit on video. If there's something that you don't want to show on video, <laughs> then you can just click the button. Choose any image that you want. And then you can just... You can just mute the sound out, right? You don't need to have the video off as well, but, um... Yep, and you can see the timestamp keeps going. So that's another cool feature of this that I like, because uh, it can be useful sometimes. So I probably will... You will probably see this used in more videos. Because um, I'm thinking, man, this is my main camera now, just based on this alone, because I can go for however long I want... No motion detection failing on me. I got my timestamp fully working. I have that feature there. Um, looks like I got my sound working properly. The video looks okay, and I can do some more adjustments to make it look better. I can get it in the high depth if I want. And it seems to record fine without cutting my sound off or anything that my live cam does. I can use it for a live stream too, but I'll probably keep live streaming with the live cam because it just works fine for that. So no point in downgrading for that. But for video, man, this might be how I'm doing my vids from now on. Um, just because it, it's the quickest way. Easier than my flip. Better sound than my flip. Um, I like having my timestamp there. Um, so yeah. But I'll also give some more directions here. There is another version of the timestamp that looks different. It's another version of software. Um... This version of the timestamp, like I say, I'll do a video at some point in the future with that timestamp. But it's basically, it's in the same corner of the screen. It's just a lot smaller, but it's black. It's completely black, so that you can't see through it at all. Um, and then it has the time. It doesn't have the date or the time of the day. It just has the time that the video's been going for. Um, in white text on black background. But you can't see through that at all. So, I personally prefer this one. Um, just because you can see through it, but it also is a lot bigger, as in it's taken up like half of that bottom part of the screen. But I'm not sure if that version of the software will install in Windows 7, so I just went with this as a safe bet. Um, but what you want to do to get this older version of the timestamp, again, I can't guarantee what OS is this is going to work on, do not uninstall your drivers. If, you do, if you're doing a fresh install, install a newer version. Install 1.1, install 2.5, install any of these versions. Or, 
just install the drivers, either, rather. If you're doing a fresh install, just install the drivers. Don't bother with the actual software for recording. Then go and download, uh, I should have a link for this one, hopefully, in the description, too. Uh, it's QuickCam 11.8, and then the file name is qc1180.exe. That's the last version of QuickCam software that they made before they went to just webcam software, different branding. Um, and it has the different timestamp. Again, I can't guarantee what OS it's going to work on. It worked fine for me on Windows XP. I haven't tried it on Windows 7 here. Um, and I definitely can't guarantee for anything newer than that. And I cannot guarantee that this is going to work on a 64-bit operating system. Personally, I had no luck installing it on, installing it on 64-bit. The mileage may vary. Again, the site that I'm going to link to, you can look around on. I'm pretty sure they have a 64-bit version of the one that I'm using now. So you should hopefully be able to get that. But anyway, yeah, just install that QuickTime. Or not QuickTime. My god, there's so many fucking names, man. Install that QuickCam software version 11.8. And that will have the older timestamp. Just make sure that you have drivers before you do it. Well, here's the thing. Depending on how old your camera is, it may work out of the box. But with my QuickCam Pro 9000, it didn't work at all. And it crashed when I tried to record video with it. So, installing the drivers from a newer version first, and then getting that software, that worked. That did it, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, pretty freaking cool. And it's also a lot more compact um, in terms of the window size here. It obviously depends on what uh, size your recording is, but there's, there's a lot less extra bullshit that you don't need in the software. Excuse me. So, I'm pretty impressed, man. I got it to work pretty good. And uh, like I say, we'll have a link in the description for the download for these softwares. I should be able to put both of them in. If not, at least the 1.1 version will be in there. Like I say, I don't know if anybody watching this actually is using one of these cams or cares, but if anybody does, then there's your fix. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I say this might be the new way of filming. <laughs> uh, we'll see, man. We'll freaking see. But, um, bump the damn desk, whatever. But, 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 there you go. I'm pretty tired, man. I stayed up pretty late just to do this. Um, as in, I made the other video like two hours ago. Um, but I've been working at it for longer than that. And it's been a bitch, man. Because I tried at first to install in virtual machines, but it was just a fucking nightmare. Um, as in, the virtual machine crashed hard enough to restart the host many times. <laughs> many, many times. And I've never had that happen before. And I'm using VirtualBox. I've never had that happen in all the time that I've used virtual machines, man. I've never had it outright crash the host. I've had the virtual machine crash. Like, if I put on it, certain USB devices will crash and different things like that. But I've never had that happen. <laughs> so... Yeah, not much more to say. I'm making this vid way too damn long. I'm curious to see how the file size is on this as well, but... So, there's your fix, guys. Uh, like I said, I don't know if anybody else is interested in this or not, but if you are, there you go. And we'll have the links for this. Um, and for my subscribers, and maybe this is what you're going to see. <laughs> so, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope it helped anybody that was looking for it. Catch you guys later.